what's going on youtube welcome back to another video and most of you guys probably already know if you follow me on tiktok if you don't go follow me over there but most of you probably don't know we got a new quad uh this is a 2021 can-am renegade 570 xmr i just picked it up yesterday it just came out of the truck and boy, 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 does this, does this thing look good. I love the color on it. So we have another quad for the channel. Gonna have some great videos coming out on it. And gonna be putting it up against the Polaris and see how it does. That's one reason why I got it. Well, this, 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 yeah, yeah, that's one reason why I got it, to compare it against Polaris. I know it's not gonna be a fair comparison because this is a 570 and the Polaris is an 850, but both of them are V twin. And the Renegade, I promise you, it can keep up. These things are quick, they're strong, powerful, and all. I plan on getting one myself. This one right here, most of you guys think it, this one mine, and I'm just sell the player. No, this one is my brother's. Most of you guys probably knew my brother had the 850 high lifter, the one that lifted. He had that one, but he didn't want it anymore. And he wanted a renegade, so got him a renegade. And you guys got the renegade mainly just to compare it to the Polaris, but I still got my Polaris. I plan on getting me a renegade soon. Not no, well, not no time soon, but soon. I plan on getting me a 1000 XMR. I don't know. I was thinking of the 1000 XMR or the 1000 XXC and build it to my liking. That's what I was thinking. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think I should do. But yeah, you guys, we end up getting this for my brother. And let me just do a little walk around for you guys. Let everybody, all you guys know what's what and all the mods and accessories that come on the 2021 570 XMR. Uh, for starters, most of you guys can tell, they come with 28, 28-inch 28 by 9 by 12 Mega Mayhems on 12 inch can down rims, nice rims, and nice wooden tire package. But you can fit bigger tires. You like you can fit 30 in the front, but in the back, you like you can fit probably the 30 with a little trimming. Take this piece right here off in the back. Might, might put some bigger wheels and tires on it, but we're gonna ride it like this for now since it's brand new. And yeah, guys, got 28 and Mega Mayhems, uh, Rhino Horn Snorkel. Mounted up, snorkel mounted up high, and mud scrap. All the vent line stuff ran up under here. You can see them from. You probably can see them a little bit. Probably not, but I can. The vent line that ran up the top. It comes with a front bumper. Comes with a bottom winch mount down there. Uh, radiators not relocated on the Renegade, but they are on the Outliners. Might end up getting a radiator relocate kit for it, and a new bumper to get the radio up high with the uh, snorkel. Automatic park. Yeah, it's put me uh not focusing. Well yeah, you guys park reverse neutral high low uh mud guards, hand guards. The five seventies do not have the diff lock. That's one thing I know the five seventy don't have the diff lock. They just have four wheel drive and two wheel drive. They one thousand XMR they have diff lock, but the five seventies don't. Uh, I got a rear bumper, stock exhaust. I don't like it at all. It's too darn big and quiet. How the rear looks. Uh, you got rear trailing arms. It doesn't have A arms in the rear. It just have trailing arms. Uh, nice setup for me. Uh, Fox shocks all the way around on the 570. Uh, it come with halogen headlights. Probably get some white headlights for it. Well, clear, you know, I'm talking about white clear thing. Uh, yeah, and the display it comes with white key, performance key, 570 V20 EFI, 4x4 Visco lock. It doesn't come with no rear rack. Uh, probably get a rear rack for it because all oh, they just plastic things for one rider. Uh, just how it look from a CV standpoint. Why is the camera not focusing? Making me mad. Yeah, there it is. 
But yeah, got high beams, low beams. Uh, you just hop the key fob on there and just match the button. And the display come on, nice little display. I like the Outlanders better because they got a much bigger display. Got a 12 volt uh, plug right there. Electric th throttle. I haven't rolled it yet because I, I didn't ride it yesterday. I'm gonna do a ride video on it today. Ride it around the neighborhood. But yeah, girl, there's a lot of the uh, V twin 570 Rotax power engine. Yeah, cover it. Thanks. Norcoles, much wrap, hand guards, 570 wheel tires, floorboards, all that. All stock. Nice little machine. Can't wait to test it out in the mud. Hasn't been no mud yet. Just been rolled. My brother rode around the neighborhood yesterday, and it hasn't seen any mud. But yeah, this is a nice machine. The Renegades are so like compact and not wide or long or like long in length. They're a nice small machine. I'm gonna get me one soon. Like I said, yeah, I'm gonna get me one soon. But I'm still keeping the players. I'm never selling my high lift. It's gonna be on the channel forever. It will never be sold. Might build it up to one of those big stretch mud bikes one day. You never know. All depends on what the future brings. But yeah, guys, nice little quad. I like it. I like it a lot. See, I'm gonna put you guys on the GoPro. I'm gonna do a little riding around. I'll let you guys know how it feels compared to an 850 high lifter. Cause I've been riding one of those for two years now. I've never rode a Renegade 570 or a Renegade 1000 ever. And I'm gonna put you guys on the GoPro cam and let you guys go ride around with me. So stay tuned. Okay, you guys got the key. All you gotta do is stick the key on there, match the green button, the display come on, and hold it. It starts up. Okay, put it reverse. There you go. And yes, guys, it's a, like I said earlier, a 10 Renegade 570 XR. First starters, I know that the throttle is a lot more responsive than the holiday thing. It feels better. It's a lot more smoother, faster engaged. Nice quad. First thoughts of going to ride it, it's smooth. It drives nice. Throttle. One thing you can tell is the power steering. The first thing I thought, first thing I said when I first got on it is it has power steering. You can tell because the, it turns so easy. Dip lock on the 57X and all, but they put it on the 1000. That's weird. But yeah, guys, I like it. It hit corners real tight. I love this power steering. Going from a big 850 high lifter to one of these, and these are 28 inch tires. The high lifters can't stop with 29s. But this thing turned. It that. It turns so easy, I love it. Maybe want to get power steering for my 850. And it's so tight and not, not real long. Throttle. It's ain't pretty quick. 
quick. I'm not going to go on top speed on them because it's breaking in period and I just want to do a little cruising on it right now. But yeah, first ride on it. Nice. What the? Nice and mean look. Dual exhaust coming out the back, that'll look clean. I see why most folks go with RJWC doors. That look clean. Or Empire doors, either one. But yeah, you guys, let's keep riding. Cap it off with this video, just a little ride video of it. First thoughts, I like it. I said it again, I like it. I love this part. I'm glad he picked this one. He wasn't gonna get a Raptor 700, but he 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 changed it because he wanted to get a mud quad, but a still a sports quad, and it was the best choice for him. Cause this thing is mean. I like it. I said it again. I just keep saying I like it. I plan on getting me a Renegade 1000 XMR or XXC. Let me know down in the comment section what one you think I should get. I think about getting the XXC so I can just build it to my likings. But then it won't come with diff lock. Uh, like I'm saying, system. my GoPro, GoPro died. Uh, yeah, you guys. Let me know down in the comment section. If I do get a Renegade, should I get an XXC or 1000 XMR? 1000 XXC or 1000 XMR? Only reason I might consider getting the XMR because of the diff lock, front diff lock. This is a nice quad. I said it again. Nice. Can I did a good job with the Renegade. This is my first time ever riding a Renegade and it's just a 570. And my first time, I'm in love. I love it. Got a lot coming through this machine. Make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned. Now the KM fanboys can leave me alone about not having a KM. That KM is so much better. I have one now and if it breaks. The first ride, I'm gonna be so mad. I promise you. But yeah, you guys, I got a can. We got a can now. Now we do can now versus Polaris comparisons. Other than that, at the end of this video, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one when we baptize this thing in mud. And I will see you guys in my next one.